Lee, and it was a really hot weekend around Arizona for the Valley. We had our first triple digit day of the year yesterday. It was a scorching Sunday with a high of 102, which actually tied the record for yesterday's date. Going forward into this brand new week, we've got some major weather changes that include a cool down and some wind. This is a live look at Pine Top Lakeside where we can see the trees here moving back and forth. It's pretty windy in eastern Arizona and the rest of the state too. 18 mile per hour winds right now in Sholo. Some 21 mile per hour winds at Winslow and 20 mile per hour winds at Flagstaff. Phoenix actually one of our windiest spots in the state right now with 21 mile per hour winds out of the south. We've got some 25 to 26 mile per hour winds right now in Bullhead City and in Kingman and likely in most of these areas you're seeing some much stronger gusts. We could see gusts up to 35 miles per hour in the valley today. Wind advisory for gusts to 50 miles per hour across Mojave County. This red flag warning for the valley today is from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. It's for the combination of dry air, relative humidity down to 10 percent and very windy weather. I think most of this week is going to be pretty windy during the afternoon and evening hours. So let's talk about where the wind's coming from. It was a hot weekend because high pressure was sitting right over us. That is getting pushed off to the east now. Got a few clouds coming into the state. No real rain. The wind is coming from this low that's dropping down the California coastline and the pressure gradient or difference that's setting up between that low and the high that's moving away from us. This ridge gets moved out of the way. This low doesn't really go anywhere through today, through tomorrow, through Wednesday, just kind of sits along the California coast, slowly sinking a little further south. So that'll drive those winds through Wednesday into Thursday even. But by Thursday, watch what happens as we push this model forward in time. The low begins to lift up through the Great Basin across the west, and we may get a little bit of rain in the uh, state. I don't think we'll see that as far south as the valley. This will be more some scattered showers for northern Arizona. And then on Friday, things stay a little unsettled across the high country of our state. But that low is going to take a track that keeps it too far to the north to get any significant rain really for most of the state. It'll certainly be cool around here, though, to end the week. Our rain outlook for the next seven days really just kind of favors that that same portion of the state, northern and northwestern Arizona there with that. And that's really our only chance of rain for the next seven days. So let's talk about the highs across the state today. We got 67 for Flagstaff, 75 for Payson and 76 for Prescott. For most areas, these are above average temperatures, but down from yesterday where we were 84 for Kingman and 96 for the Valley. Let's go ahead for the next seven days and show you how we're going to drop even more with those temperatures tomorrow. 89 degrees for a high same for Wednesday, although I think these days are going to be breezy. Today is the first alert weather day for that red flag warning 80. That's it for a high on Thursday. That'll be a nice day. Still some wind to deal with. The wind should ease up and the temperatures start to warm up again by next weekend.